Now, talking about maybe buying the dip and then how to play defense or offense here, I want to go to sector spotlight, which is going to be industrials. Beating expectations, you know, 70% of the time during first quarter earnings, that's according to Capital IQ. Now, in general, with the sector, do you need to be buying the dip, looking to buy, or do you need to hold off? Is there more room to fall? Well, we've talked about these numerous times. Mm -hmm. We've talked about Caterpillar. Right. Caterpillar, we talked about playing the breakout, buying the dip, and then when they reported their great earnings, I said sell some. That's all that whole entry exit yeah. format that we do. Now Caterpillar, if you take a look right here, you know, if you sold into earnings on this day, you know what? We're holding the twenty one day, you could buy some back. Same way if you sold into the strength here, we talked about buying the dip. So that's how you could keep maneuvering here. So if you want to buy some and or you're not in any caterpillar at all, this is at least a dip to buy versus chasing it at one fifteen on that earnings day. And the three that I was looking at were Caterpillar, Cummins, and uh, UTX. Now, they're all pretty cheap, tra tra trading pretty well at current EBITDA. Is there one you want to buy in particular? I mean, Cummins got really hit yesterday, down 6% from its high in May. Well, what do you think about that one? That one also is coming into a gap. If you take a look at it technically, it doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. Here is your sell signal. When we talk about when something tries to break out and make a new high and can't, that's your sell signal con considering where it came from. You know, a lot of guys got short into this gap. I think you could cover shorts and maybe nib, you know, nibble a little bit around this mm -hmm. 21 day, which is around 111, you know, 110. These industrials or these cheaper stocks yeah. seem to be riding their 21 day moving average. So that's where institutions seem to be buying some in the hole. What about UTX? Hasn't fallen as much as Cummins and Caterpillar. Do you need to wait on that one? Well, UTX, I'd almost be a little fearful that it's that okay. it, you know it's had a big move. It hasn't come in yet. I would be really watching this area if it were to break. I would reduce here. You know, at this point, you know, I know that if 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 winners act well, you know, you don't want to you know get out of it because the market's under pressure. But when the tide's all going one way, and I'm not saying it's all going one way right now, that's when you just want to reduce some size, get a little flexible, so this way you're not caught in a downdraft. I'd rather see you buy after that has happened.